<laughs> yes. Greetings, greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Thursday afternoon live stream. Things are changing up. We're not doing EQ1 because everybody's busy. <laughs> um, uh, Eridani's AC is broken, so he can't even go to the second floor of his house right now because his office is too hot. Um, and I don't blame him. So, we're going to uh, detour slightly into the realm of other MMOs, and we're going to load up some WoW. WoW! I know. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, let's switch on over to game footage. I hope everybody's doing fine and good on this wonderful uh, Popski-filled Thursday afternoon. I'm in a good mood. I've got, I've, I've got a webcam. You can see my face now. Twiddle, twiddle, twiddle. I'm still adjusting things, but I think I got the green screen setting right. It's a really nice camera. It's amazing. This was a gift project by, well, getting me replacement webcam, webcam started with Night Pirate, and then it progressed on to uh, Dark Preacher and Fergcraft, who I cannot thank enough. Uh, all three of them, wonderful people, and uh, that's the only reason I have one. Greetings to our Chocobo Overlord. Work? Yeah, I, I saw your goofy video. I'm not sure how, how I feel about that. Uh, um... Uh, I think you're just doing that for revenge, uh, for the sake of uh, me making fun of your high alchemist. That's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. Yes, I reactivated my account. I decided to turn the lights back on. I like World of Warcraft, but quite often I just can't afford it month to month or justify it month to month. But I'm getting more time. I am playing more MMOs in general. I decided to go ahead and turn the lights back on. I do not, as you can see, do not have the wonderful expansion. I cannot afford it right now. We have a lot of bills recovering. Our rent went up some, so... But, um... Yeah, I, I, I want to get it desperately. I just don't have the money for it right... I mean, I have money I could spend on it, but I shouldn't spend it on it. Hello, face cam. Hey, Dragon Racer, what's going on? <laughs> Jamal Red says... Pfft. Yes, of course you would dispute this theory, Mal Red, but... I think you're just getting back at me for the uh, High Alchemist teasing. And justifiably so. But that's not the point. Um, anyway, yeah, Trunks, I am on an American server by the name of Blackhand, as you can see up here. Um, I've got various different heroes. This one is brand new. Started her two days ago. It's the only lady character I have. Um, uh, not, I'm not against cross-gender? Yeah, I'm going to say that. Cross-gender avatar play. D doesn't bother me. I played um, a female gnome in EverQuest 1 for the first four years of that game's existence. I mean, I remade that same character when we went back to EQ1. So, it's just that I I, I don't know why, but I have a lot of dudes. No clue. I'm dude heavy. Stan Ian! Is it Stan? Or Stan? I, I want to learn how to say your name right. Also, congratulations on the new webcam. 2,000 bits. You're nuts, man. Also, congrats on the... Uh, thank you very much for joining up on uh, Patreon. Uh, you, If you're not on uh, the League of Ordinary Gamers Discord, you need to join so we can set you up with benefits. It's a shame Cross Region isn't th a thing still. You can't... I don't know how it works. Oh my god, there's tons of servers. Okay, let's do this way. Really? I don't have a uh, black... Where's Blackhand? Did Blackhand go down? Did they ditch Blackhand or something? There was Blackhand and Bloodhoof. Blackhand must have been taken down or something. Oh no, Bloodhoof was the other one. I'm sorry. Never mind. Bloodhoof was the other one. I'm going to step on this one real quick and see what happens. 1,000 bits first, and I am. Awesome. Okay, then good. We need to get your permission set up. Okay, here is my other... I don't know why this... My names have been numberfied, but... This is my gnome death knight. <laughs> I forgot about him. 38 mage. Uh, 44 druid. This is when we started alliance. And then uh, we realized the alliance were... Not our speed. So we went to the Horde. Oh, wait a minute. 
No, okay, tournament Brazil, Latin America, Oceania. I don't have Europe, yeah. Sorry. Need a totally separate copy of the game to play in each region. I think that does stink. Blizzard will eventually get their crap sorted out. Um, well, uh, St. Ian has busted the boards. Yeah, Trunks and Cuts, I would love to do some uh, grouping up stuff with you guys. I would even consider starting a Euro copy, but I would have to get a completely separate copy of the game, I think, and register it to my account. And I don't have the money to do that, but if I did, I would. Um, if you've been inactive for long enough, they free the names up. Aha! That's why, Mr. Cuts. Thank you very much. It's funny, the last time I came back for Legion, I didn't even touch my Alliance characters. I just came over here to my Horde characters. Um, this character will always stay level... Nope. Always stay level 15. Always at the bottom of my... Uh, of my uh, playlist. I started this character to play alongside my wife. Got her, got her an account years ago. And um, she had a Cleric. And I had a Paladin. And she decided MMOs weren't her thing. She didn't want to. Because there's no pause button. You can't just get up and go to the bathroom real quick. Or not easily. Um... So this character is logged out the last place they logged out together with a little rose in his hand that I logged in and bought and logged out so I could surprise her. Next time we logged in, we just never logged in with the characters again. So I've not touched him. He is still sitting there. I have not budged him an inch. He will stay there forever. Um, this is my first character. I think I'm in Deadwind Pass from earlier. I was working on a Warlock quest to get my second artifact. He's only level 102. Up to BFA is free just for having a sub now. What? Up to BFA. You're going to have to lengthen that for me. Not including BFA. Buy. Fudge. Always. Am I right? No? Oh, Battle for Azeroth. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's the expansion. Thank you. Um, yeah, Battle for Azeroth, I don't have. I want to get it. I just don't have the money for it right now. Um, yep, yeah, I'm in Deadwind Pass. The place is a dump. And I'm at the back door to Kerazim. Yep, there we go. Stage one, Downward Spiral. Uh, make your way into the Dark Riders Catacombs beneath Kerazim. I have to remember... I do not want this spec. I want this spec. Born for Asterisk. Oh, he's on a tear, folks. You've given 14 subs on the channel. Thank you very much, St. Ian. Um, I'm just going to keep calling him St. Ian. He's a saint to me. Let's swap over to that artifact. Actually, do I have to be? Oh, maybe I have to be on that spec. Yeah, okay. I'm getting the actual artifact of that spec. I should be on that spec. Um, boop, boop. Uh, no. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Um. Yeah, um. This character, Ozzy, was my first character made on Horde. Um, Undead Warlock. He was a warlock when warlocks weren't cool. Um, he's OG. Metal before metal. Uh. He's gone mad with power. He has. He's also getting a, uh. Dark Preacher t shirt soon. Awesome! Um, oh my gosh, he found the randomize button. Um, and I think a whole bunch of bots just got subs, but I don't care. Thank you very much. Community sub gifts, five given out tier one subs. Thank you very much, St. Dan. <laughs> Told you so. The bot's going crazy. Um, yeah, okay. So, um... Oh, there is. There's Rebel, the guy that's supposed to be helping me. You want to put Shadow Bolt on your bar. I have Shadow Bolt on my bar. It's right there. Um, little trait called Drain Soul. Replaces Shadow Bolt. All the dingalings. I think it's almost caught up. Uh, I was like, okay, Death Bolt is completely new. That's a separate power from Shadow Bolt. Launches a bolt of death, okay, 
at the target, dealing 30% of total remaining damage of your dots over time. So basically, you throw dots on everything. Problem is, if I put my dots on everything and then I start to cast this, it's dead already. It seems pointless to me. And then there's Nightfall. Corruption damage is a chance to cause your next Shadow Bolt to be instant and deal 25 increased damage. Eh. I mean, like, like I said again, by the time I get, I could just put Corruption on it, but I, I've got like one, two, three, four dots, five technically with Phantom Singularity, so... Eh. Death Bolt is fantastic. Uh, stuff dies too quick. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go in Charism. Oh, God. Okay, um, this place seems nice. Imprisoned Phantasm. Ah! Excuse me? They're not hostile, I don't think. Oh, those things are hostile. Pop one of these down. Yep. And it's all dead. <laughs> Tier one gift sub to banana. -na 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 -na. Very nice of you, Saint Ian. Um so yeah, this character is my original kind of wow character. Um I did have the three tunes on Alliance first, but um this guy. Seed of Corruption. I can't even get through all my dots and stuff dies. It's just like crazy. This is an Affliction build. Um, Skinny Seahorse. That's a great name. I love that name. How far down is this place? That this was my question, Rebel. Go forever. What? Okay, there's a skull over there. Weird. Um. Oh, hi. How are you? Let's get this dude. Let's put one of these here. Let's grab it up. Oh. See, this guy's three quarters dead. I'm just gonna drain him. Whatever. Oh, bones. Wee! Oh my god, how deep is this place? Uh, okay. Seems nice. Oh, hi! You see, I'm gonna go over to this next guy and just start casting dots. I love being undead. It's hilarious. Get to eat people. Um. Okay. It seems bad. The way is blocked. Intruders! You will go no further. Oh, great. Hey, Foxbot, oh, what's going on? Those spirits he's controlling look like they'll rip us apart. We have to figure out a way to get past without being torn asunder. Asunder, you say? Without being sorn, torn asunder. Uh, okay. Let's see. Um, there's a big wooden wall thing. Um, can't interact with the barrels. Spirit barrier crossed. Okay. Um. Oh, I know. Got it. Hang on a sec. I forget about this ability. It's new. <laughs> conservator, do your duty. And so, who's the conservator? Oh, that's the conservator. Hello. Phantom Singularity! Oh, okay, that's not killing it very quick. I'm just 
gonna pile on the dots. Look, it's dead. Keep your guard up. I feel no did a bad one. And no one can launch. It's they not just Coop Life 2. It's Minecraft. Ahead. They broke a server, Let basically. So, yes, we might be doing something different tonight. Um. Uh, oh, Over okay. Here. Is this the relic you seek? I think so. Looks big and awesome. So okay. This is what you're after. That was the too easy, apparently. Oh, this looks gross. And I will not allow them to be taken <laughs> away. You have no right to these artifacts, fiend. They must be reclaimed in the name of the light. It's a scythe. I don't think Your the light, light wants to do a big death scythe. Here, priest. What? Who? Can I? If you want Ulthaless oh. warlock, come and claim it. Ah, okay, there he goes. Quickly, after him. I will only slow you down. Yes, yes, you will. Let's go. Come on, Hathnos. Oh, it's a cursed guardian. Close up. Six. I'm kind of doing backwards. It's just... it. Uh, you throw some dots out and then just wait, basically. It's not hard. Oh, hi. Ah! Excuse me, what? Um, have more? Ow! That hurts. Sucks a little, too. Okay, you go play with them. Get him, Hathnos! I don't really have any AoE, not really. Go. There we go, it's dead. I would rather be in demonology, but I think I actually have to be affliction if I'm going to get the affliction thing. I think. That's my theory anyway. Um, so how has the expansion been treating you, uh, Trunks? Do you like it? Is it fun? I'm, I'm curious. I really want to dive into it. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Wind up and the pitch. I just noticed you're only seven away from your sub goal. Really? Well, oh yeah. Yeah, um, Mr. Uh, St. Ian just broke the meter, so. Thanks, St. Ian. You think it's Steen? I don't know. I, I, I kind of want to learn how to pronounce his name right. Not Americanize it. I know I'm butchering it. I really try not to. I just don't know how to say it. Oh, yeah, I know, but is that the only AOE I've got? With groups, I've been trying to lead off. I do my dots forwards on single targets, backwards on, on multiple groups. And in multiple groups, I start off with Seed of Corruption. There was a thing. I can't remember if I got it. I don't think I did. Um. Ah, there it is. No, I didn't. I got Phantom Singularity. I keep thinking that when I did this... I should have picked seed, Sow the Seeds instead of Phantom Singularity. This one's nice, though, because it gives feedback on healing, which is helpful. Um, I can't go in there. That's a dead end. Let's go over here. Oh, this is what's-his-name. Okay. You are a persistent one. Go. Very well. If you so thirst for the power of the dead wind harvester, Ultalash feast. I will feast. show it to you myself. I can't Ultalash feasts tonight. Let's really stack 
the pain. I'm gonna turn that on just for giggles. What the heck? Over here. Taken. Oh, he's here. No! <laughs> okay. I finally have a scythe for my warlock. Yep, I'm wowing today. Yeah, Phantom Singularity's AoE. Uh, stolen artifacts. Uh, seeds of corruption is AOE. You have proven an That's it, though. Ally. The weapon is yours. Let us hope it can turn the tide in this war. The Dark Riders lost. Thank you. Battle, but I fear they will soon regroup. We had best be gone before they do. I am the Light's Vengeance. Is this an out, maybe? Um, okay, I am curious about one thing. This is weird. Plus three item levels. You know, previously you had item levels and you had unlocked this stuff. I guess you just can't do it anymore. All the abilities have been turned off because of the power... Got sucked out of them. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, legacy effects inactive. I'm still kind of fuzzy on that, but whatever. Um, I, I I don't know if stuff written on the wall and magicy magicy. Um, weird. That looks like it should be a portal, but it's not apparently. They don't level anymore, just stat sticks. Eh. Better nothing. It looks cool. Well, that's for sure. So now I gotta figure out. Is there a thing back here? I I'm perplexed. I don't know if I'm missing something. What do you need? Cause he's just standing here. How can the light serve? Okay. On the upside, you can now transmog other things to use the appearances, which is awesome. My neck, my demonology build. Oh, that's something I got to do. Hang on a sec. Wrong game. Um, affliction. Save. Hooray. My demonology build has a, a knife and a skull. And the knife is made out of some dude's spine. The skull is that dude's skull. It's really weird, but it's awesome. So I have this thing that floats around my head. Um, I really like my demonology build. Because a lot of the demons you summon have AoE attacks and explode and you can drop down meteors and those spawn little imps and you can call the imps to run in and do a massive AoE detonation. And It just feels like there's more AoE in that than this one. But that's, you know, it's not a problem. I'm just going to go this way and see what happens. Wait a minute. Oh, no. This is where the fake one was, I think. Yeah. It's got this bowl full of smoking stuff. Wow. Okay. I have no clue what's... What on earth? You can stand on it. Wow. Use your Dalaran Hearthstone. Uh, um, yes, I can use my Dalaran. I can use one of my three Hearthstones. Thank you very much. Boop. Uh, boop. It's a treasure chest that I can't open, apparently. But yeah, uh... Mmm. Good coffee. Okay. Meh. Is that the good one? 
I think that is the slightly nicer version of the one I have. This is the one I have. The traveling... Uh, hang on a sec. Yay! And see, you can... Sell. I'm actually... I keep putting this over here. Um, I don't really need it anymore, though. I need to... I don't think I need to send that to my panda. I think he knows that. Um. I got the best deals anywhere. No, apparently, I have to repair. Bing. <laughs> Same model as the one you get from Olgalon and Ol Olduar. What the same? Oh, the same scythe model. Your guild name is you're lucky I'm lagging. Ha ah, that's funny. Oh, wait a minute. There's a back door. There's a back door. Oh, same model. Oh, the chest is the same model. Where was it? Nope. Go over here. Hello, Larry. He's coming through. It took me like 10 minutes to remember how to get into this place. I'd forgotten. Mm. By the way, I love this mug. It's awesome. It's really nice. Uh, holds about 16 or 18 ounces. I never brew it that full because I'd spill it, but... It is a thing. Let's see. Um, I have a report guy that I have to come check with. Some mission that got finished. Up here. Better. It's a cool mug, says Boxbot. Thank you, Boxbot. I like it. Also, how's your day going, Boxbot? Since your internet didn't break. Black Harvest Tome. Okay. Is there another mission for me to do? There is. What? Wait a minute. What did I miss? I got a thing I need to turn on. Off, I mean... Auto accept and auto turn in. Those are a little too hmm, for me. Uh, stuff zips by so quick I can't read it. Um, okay, what did I? I have no time for trivialities. I will not rest until the council has been rebuilt. Well. Okay. Turned in the old one. He does not have a new one for me yet. Yes. Oh, wait. No, this is bad. Hang on. Nope. Got to go see the fat lady. I had a bagel. It's E-L, not L-E. For lunch, so I'm happy about that. That's good. Um, Need to be closer. Ugh. Um... 20 to recruit. Uh, let's just, like, recruit all. Can I... Can I do that? Okay. Gross. So, it's going to take 30 minutes, I think, for a pack of imps to show up, which means I probably shouldn't start any missions. What is this? Oh, timer. Oh, that must be just showing that I've got a pack being ordered. I'm... I don't know. I have mixed feelings about the uh, class hall that the Warlocks got. I haven't seen any of the other ones. I've seen Warlock and Monk. That's it. I have not seen any of the other class halls. I have no clue. Oh, gosh. Um, Demonic Gateway. I'm not even sure I know where this goes. 
It's not the exit. Um. The Warlock one is pretty cool. I think it's subjective. It's a burning hellscape. <laughs> Demons. Uh, I'm I'm gonna click on it. Summoning platform. What? Oh god, what have I done? Where am I? Um Okay. Going back through. Okay, um Nope, gotta go around and then up the ramp, and there's a dude that's got a quest for me, apparently. Let's bust out the Dread Steed. Dum -dum -dum. It's for the Ritual of Doom class hall upgrade. Oh, that sounds neat. Um. This is not the right area. This is what I'm talking about. The thing is a maze. It's just a mess. I kind of hate navigating this class hall. Yellow Minecraft seems to be fine, says uh, Dragon Racer. That's good to know. Um, Kalidus, a greater arsenal. The tome speaks of one more weapon that friend can use against our foes. Oh yeah, the third artifact. Destruction. Um, sure. Yep. Oh. Yeah, see, I just got swapped to destruction. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm actually not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to go back to what I know. What's this thing called? Yeah, the, um... Oh, these are two different people. The Skull of Manari and the Spine of Thelkiel. I like it, though. I've got this, like, orbiting skull. Randomly talks to me. Nobody else can see it. There's a little ramp from the middle area that joins to that big ramp, by the way. Really? Where? This goes under. Um, uh, I'm going to come back and do the... Stormheim, break the spine. Yes, friend. I'm not gonna worry about the scepter right now. Head down the ramp and stop at the bottom. And look left. This thing. Hang on a sec. Do, do, do. Those are cool mounts. I'd love one of these burning mounts. They look awesome. Wait. This little thing? Oh, there is. You're right. Wow, I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't know it cross-connected. Oh, huh, okay. Color me surprised. Yeah, okay. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, okay, I hired some dude to do a thing. Where is said dude? Hang on a sec. Black Harvest Quartermaster. I'm not appropriate level for any of this, I don't think. Yeah, 110. Recruit six champions to your order hall. Nope. Champion salute? Keep it real. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here he is over here. Damon says, Mage Tower is kind of typical mage. Lots of stairs, lots of books. Druid Hall is, <laughs> is fudging huge. 
a wide open space with a few night elven trees. Uh, Demon Hunter is a burning legion spaceship. That's right. I have seen the bur I have seen the Demon Hunter. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's a spaceship, and I thought that was weird. Rogue is pretty large and scattered, but is basically Tortuga hiding under Dalaran's sewer system. And has multiple entrances and exits into Dalaran. That's cool. Yeah. How are you? Class hall upgrades. That is not done. He 20 minutes. On the ground. On the ground. Scottish. Wor I guess I shouldn't make fun of Scottish warlocks. Trunks is one. Um. Okay. Have you seen Monk? Shaman Hall is the Maelstrom. What's the Maelstrom? Hey, Preach. It's been 41 minutes, man. Getting impatient? Uh, hang on a sec. Let me swap these. Boop. I want that 110 character boost. I've been trying to figure out what I would use it for. Maybe an allied race, new class that I don't have. I just made the mage, but like I got the druid. I would love to actually have a high level druid. I used to love playing druid back in the day. Uh, here's Space Drapes. This is my demon hunter. Say hi, Space Drapes. He's moody. He's an emo. Just seeing if the bot was still running. It is. It's not Scottish. It's crap. Exactly. It's a Mike Myers skit from Saturday Night Live. Hunter have a hunting lodge in High Mountain. Really? Um, okay. Buying heirlooms for some of my other alts. Uh, it's funny. There is an, um... Let me see if I can... I probably can't dig it up because there's like 300, 400 mounts. There is a mount that is specifically, I think, one of the only mounts usable at level one that is a chauffeured motorcycle and sidecar. But you have to have bought like 35 uh, relics, and I'm only up to like uh, heirlooms, I mean. Classes, all. I have 23, and I need 35, and they're kind of pricey, so. Um. Yep, okay. This is one thing that spoils me about the monk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't need to go find the entrance. I just teleport there. I don't know, like, do mages get a teleport to their class hall? That seems like they would. And then it's nice, it's organized, it's laid out well. It's this cool, like, Zen Garden Pandaria kind of thing. What is that? That lady has a foxtail, I think. Oh. Um. Shaman's Astral Recall goes there, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought I saw some lady with foxtail run off that way. I don't know what she was. Looked like a player. Player. Um. Okay. Ox Troops. Greetings. I think I need resources. I Let's hope go see, see what the mission's at. Excuse me. In progress, none. Yeah, I need to go get some more resources. Need to do missions. Um. There's the cool, uh, kind of restaurant in here, the Jade Lantern, or I can't remember what it's called. Um, they will say something about it when I walk in. Prepare for goods. Laughing Crane. There we go. The laughing Crane. And, you know, standard innkeeper stuff. Uh, but they also have... Is it over here? Yeah, Mythic Keystone in a Dungeon. Nope. I can't remember where it is. Maybe it's across the yard. Yeah, it must be. Those are people eating and playing Mahjong. Yellow Pandarians can have foxtails. Red pandas do have tails. Oh, okay. Cool, I didn't know that, Damien. One of the female Pandaren skins is a red panda and has a tail. Huh. No box resist. <laughs> Time to get wow. Uh, yeah, I think a red panda... Uh, uh, a red panda Pandaren could be really Good cool for like a rogue or something. Master. That could be neat. Is there anything I can help with? 
Where's the big thing? There's a big thing. My goods are crafted with great care. Travel safe. Ah, here we go. Bubbling keg. And you get two random things. Uh, increases health by 15%. Uh, this effect is only active with broken aisles. This is unique to other brew house brews. Um, reduces your fall speed for one hour. This one is awesome. I love having these things around. Um... Why is all of this stuff in here? Oh man, my, my bags are just so jammed. Nagrand cherries. I'm actually going to do consumables. Um... Yes. I'm just staring into the oblivion. I don't know why I have a thermal anvil. I can't remember. I think it was to repair wherever, something like that. Um. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff that I'm a little fuzzy on. Oh, heirloom. This is all heirloom stuff. I don't need to worry about this. Okay, yeah. I was confused. Why is it in my general inventory? Um. Clean up, please. Clean up. All seven. There we go. Awesome. So, yeah, I really like. And, of course, that is, wait a minute, what? Yeah. This is the starter aisle, basically. The starter island for um, Pandarans. So, you go, there's like the mists of Pandaria area where you do the higher level zones and whatnot. Um, Veil of Thousand Cranes. I can't remember what it is. Veil of Eternal Blossoms. That's what it is. And stuff like that. This is the newbie zone you start off with when you roll a Pandaren. Basically, all of this stuff around it. And the Monk Temple of the Five Dawns is right here in the middle of it. The class, the class, um, hall. Which I think is really interesting. So, I could wander back out to, uh, in theory, where my character would have been born. Which I think is kind of interesting. But, mm, um... So yeah, I really like this one. I think it's set up pretty well. You can't use that. Oh, I can't fly. This is considered Broken Isles territory, and I can't fly in Broken Isles yet. Um, I have not put the money forward to be able to fly with this character. I think it's... Ah, I always do that. Morvie's online. Going over here. Uh, I can't remember what else is where. Let's go see. I'm really rusty. There's a lot of stuff I've kind of forgotten. There's some things that have changed. Like, I went looking for the heirloom vendor. Oh, yeah, it's just newbie zone stuff. Okay, um, I went looking for the heirloom vendor on, uh, my, on this character. Found them after some searching, but I did find them. Well, then I went over to my bank alt and, uh, let's go back. I went to my bank alt and looked for the heirloom vendor because my bank alt has all my money and they're not in the same place because my bank alt hasn't done the uh, battle for Lordaeron, the battle for the Undercity basically, that it launches the uh, battle for Azeroth expansion. So if you've done that quest line, there is no more Undercity. So if you're before that or after that, it depends on where certain things are. The heirloom vendor is in the Undercity for my banker, but it's in Agrimar for this character. It's really weird. So, uh, okay, I am in, speak of the devil, I'm in Agrimar. Okay. Oh my God. 10 tier one community subs. Oh my gosh. 
Is it giving it to people that randomly watch or are watching right now? Trunks 9809, Final Legion, Mining for Miracles, Sabbath Kane, Shady Jade, uh, Skinny Seahorse. Okay. Kotsev. Sice the Shoop. Hey! Nathan with a Y. Okay. Bugga Bags. Eliminat. Demonic Diabeto. Mr. Wolf Boy. Wow, that's a long list. Okay. Thank you very much, Saint Hand. Could grief the bot. Yeah, I need to turn that off, probably. Those are repeats? What do you mean, repeats? Hang on a sec. Let me see if I can figure out where to turn those off real quick. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. I'm not sure where this setting is. Um there is a localization usage. Not seeing some of these in chat, so it's probably pulling from followers. Yeah. I'm guessing it's pulling from random followers on the channel and just gifting them subs. It's going to be tinkling for just a few minutes here, folks. Um, mod tools, no. Notifications. Streamlab. Auto host. I don't think we need that one. Or that one. But I don't know how to, I'm going to have to do some research and figure out how to turn that off. Because I don't think we need the bots spamming all the stuff. Um, I'll iron it out. It's okay. Okay. Uh, I was going somewhere and I can't remember where. Um... I think I'm going this way. Not my wee little cloud. The tinkling, yes. <laughs> yeah, whoops, he says, saying it. Hey, keep going. I'll figure it out. You keep doing what you're doing. Don't let me stop you. Um, is that a person? In memory of Bruce Lee. What? Is that a... That's a warrior. Okay. I did not know people could turn into those. That's new to me. St. Ian, you have broke me. Oh my gosh. 36 total subscriptions. Uh, something tells me they're going for a record. Um... Okay, let's turn that off and actually... Violet Sands, you turn into a dragon and someone can ride your back. Really? That's awesome. Wait a minute, is that a potion brewing thing? Alchemist? It sounds like it is. Oh, I think I got the bot turned off. I think. Because it didn't spam a whole bunch of thank yous. Since it says it in the chat, at least I see it in the chat... Matt P, Booger Bomb, Dias, Shingo DJ. It's made with alchemy, but it's a mount mechanically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is crazy. I'm not sure where we are. <laughs> Here comes more. It is alchemy to make, but anyone can use it. Yeah, but not soulbound. You can buy it on the auction house. But it's one use, right? 
Yeah. The gift sub, gift sub show up for all to see. So there you go. So we don't need the booger bomb. Uh, also pretty expensive. It sounds like it would be expensive. How many? 41 total. I got to check something real quick. Hang on a sec. I think there's a distinct possibility that we have way shot over our goal of 50 subs. Um, what? Oh, right. Hang on a sec. I need my phone. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Man, this is a lot of donations. Um, okay. Follower goal. Nope, wrong thing. Thousand bits, should you go overboard, do so, do so properly. Thank you very much, Sanian. <laughs> Good drugs. Um, it's one use in the same way a mount item is one use to unlock the mount. Oh, wait a minute. So, oh, so you can buy it to turn into one of those things. I wonder how much they cost. No kill like overkill. I'm at a... Am I really at 185%? Well, it is now. Yes, thank you. I'm not sure how many subs that is. I have to go over to... 65 out of 50. Well, we made the sub goal. Awesome. They cost many doubloons. Could you be more? I'm not even going to worry about. Okay. I showed off the, the monk thing. I'm going to swap over to another character real quick that I need to actually get uh, progress on. I'm trying to think about. Um, I thought these guys got hot rods. I was really upset by this. In the newbie zone, you have this three-seater hot rod that you can use. But as soon as you get off the island and evacuate to the mainland, you lose it, which I think is kind of a ripoff, but whatever. Um... 400 gold, but that was a year ago on an RP server. Really? Let's go. This is my Celator. <laughs> this is my bank alt. On your server, there's 60k at the moment? <sighs> well, never mind. There goes that. No point logging into this character. I'm just going to have to log back out. That's one of the things I like about Wildstar. What? The uh, different kind of mounts and stuff? I am going to keep working on my Warlock. You're going to have to rephrase that sentence, Dragon Racer. Um, okay. Right here is where this path was. We've got one quest, and that's to go get the scepter. And we have to be in a destruction to do it, and I don't feel like sorting out my hotbars and stuff. They were over 100k a month ago. They've come down! Woohoo! Okay. Where's the exit door? I think it's here. Hmm. Man. I wonder if Mr. Atomic Blom's going to be upset about losing first place on the bits board. Okay, we're back in Dalaran. Dalaran. 
Um, I'm going to go back to doing some of the quests I've been working on. Oh, see, research complete. Thank you. Uh, um, that should be ticking up. Yep, awesome. Okay, I am going to go back to Valdescal. Mounts are usable throughout the maps, not zone limited. Oh, well, no, that's actually not true, Dragon Racer. Uh, there's a lot of indoor structures, like an ilium, that you cannot use the mounts. Um, do you remember the building that I had to go into in order to register our guild? If you ride your mount into that building, you'll be kicked out of it by the time you get into the lobby. So, it, it has the same rules as here. If you get indoors, you get removed from your mount. In most cases. Not all, but in most cases. Um, okay. Um. Right, I'm going over there. And I have to remember how to get there. I think I go this way. Nope, too loud. Um. Let's grab something all terrain. Hang on a sec. Yeah, this will do. Woo! Turtle! Let's go turtling, eh? Been relatively stable at 60 80k mark for the past year or so. Though there are spikes quite a lot, yeah. I think Wifey Thing would kill Blom if he tried to get it back at this point. Uh, yeah, that's probably true. Okay. I have been working on this whole area over here. Drive back to Titus Scorn. Bonus objective. Oh, yeah. I need to do one thing. Like, kill one or two people. And everything over here is dead. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Um... Let's pop off the turtle. Okay, I've got... Seven... Uh, yep, I'm gonna do this. This, this. You go over there. And then I'm going to call down a meteor. Boom. That kills a whole bunch of dudes. See? It's like two spells. Oh, hi. What's your name? What do I have this pet on? Okay. I have a horn thing that I have to blow at people or something. Uh. Yep. Number five. Number six. Everything dies. Two powers. Some reinforcements. Oh, yeah, I didn't have any, uh, any shards. Ta -da! Awesome. Uh, okay, I think that there's some doors I need to close, some portals. Best motherly voice, no writing your disco ball in the house. 
Okay, we're gonna go up to these guys. And we're gonna blow our horn at him, eh? That's a quest item. This guy's almost dead. Whoop, dead now. Let's send him in there. Yeah, okay. I'm going to... Oh. Thank you. Mm. I lightning zapped them. Okay. Let's go over here. Burn the banners. Is that what I have to do? Oh, there's a book thing here. The soul of that one would be useful. Kaboom. Oh, I summoned a thing. Oh, God. Okay. There should be banners around here. Is this what you said? Yeah, portal destroyed and all I have to show for it. Maybe go up here and do it. Got you to 100% without needing to kill anyone. Oh, okay, that's what you're saying. Yeah, see, I'm trying to figure out how to destroy the banners. I mean, the portals. But I, I don't know how. Because it looks like it's got an outline, but it really doesn't. It's just a glow in the middle. Um, I... Bye. There's a button by the quest. Yeah, this thing, Stormforged Horn. That's what this is. I got that. That's easy. This is totally overkill, but whatever. You see this thing? Let us stem this oh no, that's a different horn. <gasps> oh, okay. This one is this one. Oh, okay. There we go. Thank you. Two different horns. That's the horn for Valor. The quest is a different horn. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Come on, kids. Time to call the Taskmaster. What is it with you people? Attack him. Okay.
All dead. Okay, right. Now that I know there's two different horns. Stormheim has way too many horns. Yes, I 100% agree. I'm going to send you over there. Yep. Notice how my pet still has full health. Now it's going down some. What? This one. Drain life is fast. So we get up here on this one. What? Let's say, why didn't they get dead yet? Really not that useful. Dead. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. There's a dude stuck in the wall. My Voidwalker dies way too fast. Really? Oh, that changes the Battle for Azeroth. Yeah, stuff probably does way more damage. I expect in Battle for Azeroth. That is something I will probably not know for quite a while, though, thankfully. The storm's fury awakens. Break the spine. Complete quest. Dun -dun. Okay, I have one more portal that I'm gonna go bomb. You go over there. Just drops. I can't see anything. Ugh. Okay. I struggle with more than about two mobs at times. Elites are doable, but I need to use health bundle pretty often. Elites. I don't really have to fight elites much. Incoming. And they're all dead. Okay, I'm just going to... Oh, hello! But are you... Um, are you actually, uh, you're not demonology, you're affliction or destruction, right? Nope, oh, there we go. All better. Go over here. Complete. 
I do this intentionally, like, all the time. Gonna do this. Gnaw them to the bone. Uh, let's do... Nope. There we go. Yes, he's taking the crap ton of damage, I know. Hi there, what's up? Awesome. A little bit of work, but it's doable. Okay, so there seems to be another portal I need to... Well, I need to turn this in, apparently. Let's do that first. I'm demonology now. I swap between that and affliction from time to time. Kind of enjoying demonology more, though. I've always been a demonology warlock. You get tougher pets. You get bigger buffs for the pets. And you can kind of sit back and just toss shadow, shadow bolts as needed. The storm is my ally. Do you don't understand? The portals are closed, and yet... Demonic forces still assault the gates. Bum, bum, bum. You will need to choose. Okay. Yeah, see, artifact items. This is dumb. These quests are basically... That's a little weird. I don't know. I'll accept it and figure it out later, I guess. Fear not the storm. Okay. I am actually going to swap over to Affliction real quick. Okay. Let's do this, this. Okay. I've got that on. I'm going to resummon the tank. Let's see. He's set to assist. I swear, once upon a time, defensive was the same as, or defensive included assist, but apparently not anymore. Um, oh, I need to do consumable. Oh, invalid target. Let's clear the targets and try that again. I like Soul Well. Soul Well was a great addition for Warlocks. Okay, I am going to put down a Warlock Circa Demon Circle, so I can just pop back to it whenever I want to. Affliction was kind of the same in Legion, when you could get a permanent Infernal to tank for you and just hide uh, at the back throwing dots, yeah. I don't think you can do that anymore. Hmm, what? Who? Where? Oh. My right, pet's at full health. Okay. Let's see. The Dark Lady's bidding, and it looks like it's a ways off. I'm gonna... Let's hit the random mount button. Okay, Green Dragon Turtle. Weird choice. So many horns! It was a talent that they removed with the new expansion. So are the talents different now? Like, did these get... If I get the expansion, will these change? Or did they change for everybody? All versions of the game. Creeping Death. I was kind of tossed up. Your Agony, Corruption, and Soul Siphon and Unstable Affliction deal the damage 15% faster. That or infuses your soul with the misery of fallen foes. In including, it's an instant two minute cooldown, meh soul conduit, every soul shard you spend has a 50% chance to be refunded but I use less soul shards on affliction than I do on demonology, he's ton on demonology 
to change for everyone. Okay, so it's not just in the new areas. Right, okay. I figured they kind of had to... Do I have... Oh, you know what I have that I don't have on the bar? Hang on a sec. Gotta look for it. Gotta look for it. I have so many toys, it's dumb. Aha! There we go. Best thing. So I think I'm going across the river and down there, I think. So I'm just going to shortcut this way. Seems like the best thing to do. Whee! 15 minutes cooldown. Really not bad in the grand scheme of things. Whoop, this is all hostile territory. Let's settle over here. And work our way backwards. Yep, sure enough, that works real well. Okay. We need to go up here and talk to somebody. Probably Sylvanas Crazy Pants. It's probably not cool to say, but I've been having a ton of fun getting back into WoW. It's been really nice. I might rebalance the budget and see if I can keep the account on this time. Nathanos Blightcaller. Oh, this guy. Yeah. This is the guy that did the shot for that opening volley at... I mean, uh, for that finishing volley at Lordaeron. Um, finally, someone competent arrives. Okay. Make yourself useful. Fire four per second catapults. Okay. Dreadwake's Dilemma. Kill 10 Greywatch Saboteurs. Happily. Here is a flight route I did not have. Let's see. Dum, 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 dum. What are you? Oh, Innkeeper. I'm gonna rebind. I am forsaken. Our time yep. <laughs> Thank you. Quickly. Sell off the crap. The living. Um, alchemist. Nope. Okay. Oh, jeez. Let's see if we can... You know what? Hang on a sec. Go back to the end real quick. What? Fun and WoW do not belong together. Uh, I think it's kind of kind of cool now for some fo folks to bash on WoW. Oh, you know, the addiction or whatever. Or because it's actually been around for 12, 14 years? Can't remember. Am I in a? I am. Okay. You said Death Bolt is really good. Um.
Corruption damage is a chance to cause your next Shadow Bolt to be instant and deal 25% more damage. That's passive. So you really like, um... 30 second cooldown. Launches a bolt of death at the target, dealing 30% total remaining damage over time effects. Yeah. I actually think I'm gonna do let's see, corruption. Yeah. Takes one soul shard, refunds it if they die while being afflicted with it. I like actually having Demonic Circle. It's nice popping around. Let's see. I don't even use the stun. I'll probably have to use it when I get to higher levels, but I don't use it right now. Okay, this one, there's Phantom Singularity. But there's also sow seeds. If I do sow seeds, it hits multiple targets, which means I think it would spread bigger. Hey, Red Sharpie, what's going on? Embeds a demon seed in the enemy. Oh, well, let me read. Okay. Embeds a demon seed in the enemy target that will explode after 10 seconds. Um, dealing 321 damage to all enemies within 10 yards and applying corruption to them. And then corruption just basically it's a 10 second delay. Boom. And it hits everybody with corruption. I mean, technically, I don't need to do... If I just did... Five, uh, if I did this one, this one, and this one. I do Seed of Corruption, Unstable Affliction, and Agony. I don't need to reapply Corruption, because... Okay. It still spreads the same, it's just the damage it happens to th that happens to three targets? What do you mean three? Embeds into an enemy target that will explode to all enemies. So, wait a minute. Does that mean the damage? This, you can't double up on corruption because corruption is just a dot. So, it's just going to overlap. That just means the initial 343 shadow damage would get doubled, right? Because it, it would happen from two targets instead of one. I'm doing good, Sharpie. How's work? Work going okay? <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm trying to... Decipher crazy things. I'm actually gonna. Whoops! Didn't mean to summon you. Oh well. That happens a lot. Um. Buh, 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 buh. The initial damage happens to two separate targets instead of one. Right. This I get. It embeds a demon seed on two different targets, and then those targets do AOE explosions. 343 damage to all enemies within 10 yards. That would happen twice instead of once. Applying corruption. The thing is, the corruption can't be applied twice. It's a status. It'll only apply once. Work is all right. We'll be off in about 30 minutes. So, yay. That's good to hear. Um, I'm not dead set on sow the seeds being useful. Let's see. Vile taint unleashes a vile explosion at the target location. Dealing uh, 1,500 shadow damage over 10 seconds to all enemies within 10 yards, reducing their movement speed. Ooh, that sounds nice. But then I got this, which is above the target, which consumes the life of all enemies within 15 yards, dealing 2,000 damage and healing me. That seems good. So I have to take Vile Taint or Phantom Singularity. Phantom Singularity hits for more and heals, but it's got a longer cooldown. I could throw this out a lot more. AoE also doubles. It's only 343 damage, but still. Um, 
Unstable Affliction can be applied multiple times. Up to five individual applications per target. Really? I didn't know that. Does it rent? Hmm. Oh, you may afflict a target up to five unstable afflictions at once. Okay. I did not read that. Um. I think. I'm going to try this for now. I'll be able to throw it out a bit more. AOE, but it's only got a 20 second cooldown instead of a 45 second cooldown. Um, that's why Death Bolt is so strong. Excuse me while I just launch his doom. Uh, wait a minute. Death Bolt. Oh, so you stack up Unstable Affliction and then hook in a Death Bolt is what you're saying. Okay. I'll try it. So are you just doing those two? Okay. So I guess you do Seed of Corruption, Unstable Affliction several times, and then hook a Death Bolt in, and blam. Okay, so that's a boss buster, basically. Yeah, Agony, you have to keep refreshing. I remember that. Okay. Haunt. Honestly, I'm not using it that much. It does a little bit of damage and increases your damage to the target by 10%. Shadow Bolt applies Shadow Embrace, increasing your damage dealt to the target by 3% for 10, 10 seconds. Stacks up three times. More Sacrifice. Sacrifice your demon. Eh. Agony corruptions. Wait a minute. I don't have a target. Okay. Um, Shadow Bolt implies Shadow Embrace. That is not a pre existing thing, I don't think. Shadow Embrace. I'm going to try this one and see how it works. I figure I'm not going to be using Shadow Bolt as much if I've actually got Death Bolt. Yeah, I'll stick with it. Okay, let's go experiment. Let's see what happens. Whoops. I missed my turn off. Come on, Hathnos. Okay. Ordinary stuff. I don't need to stack, it looks like. Oh God, okay. So it just expires all of the dots and does all the damage at once. It turns them from dots into instants, basically. Fire! Well, oh, there goes, there goes, there goes. Oh, right on the deck. I bet that sucks. It eats a soul shard. Um. You could use on, uh, only use Seed of Corruption if there's multiple targets, right, so, you do, 
from justice. That's a lot of damage. Man, that adds up. Go fire another catapult. Suck it! So I guess the, the death bolt is the boss bus, boss buster shot, basically, right? Plant five Gilnean high explo heavy explosives. Oh god, okay. Takes a little getting used to, but I see what you're talking about. Anything to really toughen up to last till I need to re reapply agony, really, yeah. Did I miss that? I don't think I got that done. Well, ah, here we go. over here and loot the fish. Ow. People are shooting at me. Oh, there is a person in the water. Yeah, you start stacking at... Uh, Unstable affliction and it gets nasty. Let's go deal with the fish. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whoop, get to a safe distance. So there's one thing I love about being undead. I don't need to breathe. Loot a fish. Here they taste horrible. So if I wanted to, I could go AFK down here. Way back in the early days, when there was actually some, like, before the first expansion launched, there was some open world PvP. Like, people would voluntarily go raid towns, like in the Barrens or the Crossroads or whatever. Uh, they would go raid those towns. Like, the Alliance would come over and try and take the town over. A whole guild would, would basically swoop in, kill the guards, start killing all the vendors, and then take the town over. Now, the players didn't have to be PvP flagged if they didn't want to, so they just kind of watched it happen. But periodically, I'd step in, flag myself as PvP, toss some damage, and then I'd go sit at the bottom of a lake and wait it out. Because I could go AFK down there, and if they didn't know I was down there, you know. So, yeah, it was fun. No air bar. Yeah, the good old Crossroads raids. You remember those, do you, Damien? I really liked uh, some of those olden days.
Okay. What? Oh, that is a targetable explosion. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Let's go over here. Aha, uh -huh. uses that. Uh, okay. So you put unstable affliction on them. You want to make sure you get your kill them with it so you get your shard back. I got into WoW like two or three months before Burning Crusade came out. So max level 60. Guildies would take over. You take use the crossroads in their board. Yeah. Okay, cool. I have another... Here we go, another catapult. Yeah, it sounds about par. I remember Taran Mills. Or Taran Mills, I guess technically it was. Um. Oh, I have to go back and do that. Oh, crap. Oh, well. I'm going to go turn these in. Charge of the Dread Steed. What happened? Nothing. I need to go level up my Death Knight some. I used to really love my Death Knight. He was awesome. I'm um, not sure what the state of the class is right now, though. Do not test me. Greymane will find his cannons aren't so useful where the Blight takes his crew. Uh, that's a good point. It looks like the Ravens will feast upon Worgen flesh tonight, Warlock. Try not to get yourself okay. killed. What is it? A gift for Greymane. Insert. Get moving. What? Oh, explosive detonated. Oopsie. Hang on a sec. Let me go back go back to the boat. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's a thing. Okay. Explosives detonated. Work complete. There we go. So bonus cannot hide from oh, hi. justice. I'm gonna do I'm gonna swap these I'm gonna put death bolt there's the default yeah I remember uh, big at Terran Mills and watching the Alliance come in and raid the place I think it was Terran Mills no the Alliance held Terran Mills we'd go in and raid the place so they'd go a uh, raid 
and occupy the crossroads and the barrens or whatever. Uh, I thought stuff back and forth like that was really, really fun. Um, Rare upgrade, okay. Meet with the Dark Rangers in Rangers Foothold outside of... No, 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 no. Okay. I'm actually going to go back track and, you, uh... and redo... Let's go back to Valdiskal and redo this. I want to finish this uh, Stormheim Salvation thing. So we can be done with that area. Um... So I've been thinking ever since uh, uh, Burning Crusade came out. I'm not Burning Crusade. Uh, Battle for Azeroth came out. BFA. Um, I have been getting in, specifically getting into a lot of the older MMOs because I like MMOs. And I didn't think I was going to be able to like turn. I didn't know if I wanted to turn on my WoW account again or what. I didn't know if I wanted to... Ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. Stick out the mech suit. I didn't know if I wanted to turn my WoW count back on. I was pretty sure I was going to be able to afford the expansion. I still don't think I'm not going to be. I uh, don't think I'm going to be able to. But uh, so I started getting in into like EQ1, EQ2, and um, Wildstar and stuff like that because they're free. And I'm still going to play those, but I do kind of wonder. Um, I'm definitely. It's a little easier to enjoy WoW because there's more current. Like, the, one of the biggest things I've been running across in EverQuest 1 and EverQuest even what, EverQuest 2, both free to play now, um, all of the information on the web is horribly out of date. So there's not a lot of information in terms of uh, accurate current info on spells or classes or you know, map areas or dungeons and stuff like that. It's kind of hard. Um... EverQuest 1 and 2 are, are that way. Um, I stand with you. Take me to the top. Yeah, there. I remember the spot. Let Oop. us put an end to Skobald's minions once and for, for all. all. Yeah. Um, I uh, remember, I mean, uh, uh, Wildstar has never been, like, wiki heavy for information. Uh, there's a lot. It's so complicated in terms of the amps and how the powers are set up that there's not a lot of outside the game info on the power sets and stuff. So that's the same kind of problem. Whereas WoW, there's tons of up-to-date info. There's tons of up-to-date mods. Almost none of the UI interface stuff is really maintained for EQ1 or 2 anymore. A lot of the stuff that, it, that is out there for Wildstar is... Um, I mean, it's there's a lot of stuff that's out that is up-to-date, but it's not exactly a wide selection. Let's put it that way. Okay, I vaguely remember this fight, and there's another dude up here. What are you? Night Elf! Ew. Also, you, you need to explain to me how this world PvP thing works. Trunks, if you're still here. This war mode. I'm, I am kind of want to turn it on because there's abilities I can get in here that are awesome. But I don't know if I want to turn it on for the sake of, you know... Risking actually getting ganked in the middle of nowhere. Where are you? Okay, that's Yathir. <laughs> I love those guys. Um... You replace this. Mm. You turn war mode on and you get into an instance of the world populated only with other players with it on. Oh. No, I'm seeing people that have names that are like, instead of like yellow or whatever, they're orange. There he is. Let's send you over there. Oh, 
forces are limitless. Are they? Are they really? This guy up. I'm refreshing agony and keeping it up. Okay, let's see if I can get the rotation going back on this guy. Enough! I grow tired of this. Oh, he's gone. Did we beat him? will be mine, you fools! And there's nothing you can do to stop me! Bye! Champion. Let us return to Harvey. Work I, complete. I can't move. You need to kill the guy by the portal. Orange is opposite faction, but not war mode enabled. Oh. Oh, you're entirely... Oh, okay, so war mode puts you in an instance with only the people that have that turned on. Wow, that sounds harsh. These demon allies will no longer threaten Stormheim. It is time you pursue Skovall into the High Halls. I didn't feel like I needed to kill the guy by the portal. I just kept focusing on dots on dumbass. If somebody would aggro on me, I go get close to dumbass and I uh, basically start dropping AOE stuff and it just kind of peels off and spills. It's one thing I like about uh, Affliction is that stuff propagates. Like you, like seeds of corruption, and uh, uh, you know it spreads corruption to all other targets, and da -da -da -da. I, I, I love stuff like that. I think there used to be a, a power for death knights for the blood spec. I think it was that would uh, basically spread your current You're dots on somebody. Last. Um. Yeah, I'm going to do that one because I can use it on either. Odin's Watchful Gaze. Okay. Defeat God King Skobald in the Halls of Valor and claim the Aegis of Agramar. I think I remember this. You have to go in and it's a, it's a dungeon group or something, I think. I can't remember. A greater champion. Greater champion. Yes. You are worthy. I think. Oh God! Enter the halls of valor, champion. Oh, I forgot about this. The greatest of glory awaits. Odin with a Y. Um, can you take me anywhere? Nope. Wrong button. Right. Okay. I'm just gonna ride. The channel is shield that makes him immune to damage. Killing them drops it. Oh, eh. He died. My pet barely took any damage. Seems okay. I just brute forced it, basically. Um. 
Do do do. Let's see if we can get this uh, turned in. We're at the very, very end of our two-hour block. This is what... I can't remember. No, I think that's a normal name. I can't remember if that's a normal name or a other faction name. I think that's a normal name. Can't members. Very hard for me to tell. Like, this is fellow faction members, but then there's other ones that's kind of like... Eh. Um, we're going down there, huh? Okay. Whee! War mode can be harsh, but you get extra 10% and access to the PvP talents in non-dungeon content. Yeah, in Demonology, there's like two more summons that look really freaking evil. This is where you get to circle around. Whee! Doop. Okay, awesome. You can turn this in. I have no time for games. Time has come to employ different tactics. Examine six engraved shields. Okie dokie. Oh, that's Sylvanas. Oh, hi, Sylvanas. Yeesh. Um, okay. Yeah, um... Like... Endless Affliction, passive. Your unstable affliction deals the same damage as normal, but its duration is increased by six seconds. Magical damage over time effects will strike the target an additional time for 20%. Oh, it's like a debuff. Essence Drain. Whenever you hear yourself with Drain Life, the enemy target deals 5% reduced damage to you for 6 seconds. Stacks up to 5 times. Casting Circle. While within the Casting Circle, you are immune to silence and interrupt effects. Ooh, that one seems nice. Nether Ward. Eh. Each time your drain life deals damage, it increases the duration of unstable affliction. Oh, corruption and agony on the target by one second. That seems n nasty. So basically, you do, 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 and then you just start draining their life down with drain life, and it keeps it keeps the uh, 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 dots extended. Wow, that seems super evil. I remember when Curse of Tongues was a spell, not a PvP talent. I remember when it was a spell you put on your hotbar. I used it in PvP on the battlegrounds. It was great. Consumes all of your damage over time effects uh, on the nearest five enemies in 40 yards, dealing up to 10% of their max health and shadow damage for each enemy hit by soul shatter. You gain one shard and 10% haste. Ooh. Uh, it is nasty. Hard on mana, though, and they removed life tap. What? Oh, the thing that used to convert life into, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, life into mana? Yeah, I saw that that got pulled out, and I'm still kind of cranky about that, but, meh. I guess they got to balance it somehow. I think I'd do that one so you could combo. That'd be great. Um, hang on a sec. Back to demonology. Bum ba dum. Okay. Uh, yes, please. If we go in the same area, like there's called Fell Lord. You call a Fell Lord to guard the location for 15 seconds. Any enemy that comes within six yards will suffer five percent of their maximum health and damage. And players struck will be stunned for one second. You just drop him in there for 15 seconds in the middle of a group and just stun. Damage, 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 damage. There's Call Observer. Summons a demonic observer to keep a watchful eye over the area for 20 seconds. Anytime an enemy within 20 yards casts a harmful magic spell, the observer will deal up to 5% of their maximum health damage and sh health and shadow damage. That seems nasty. 
Uh, well, the succubus is active. Your shadow damage is increased by 15% in cast time. Your shadow bolt is reduced by z uh, half a second. Call Fell Hunter. Invoke the power of Fell Hunter from the Nether to instantly spell lock the enemy target. Call Fell Hunter cannot be used if your current pet is a Fell Hunter. So you use something else and then you just call the Fell Hunter in. They spell lock the guy. That seems nasty. Command your summoned imp to remove all harmful magic effects. Da -da 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 -da. Master summon your dreadstalkers are now instant cast. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna park here for a minute. Okay, we are a few minutes till. I think this is going to be a good instance real quick. Um, okay, so there are some servers, some back-end servers from Mojang. I don't know if they've been fixed yet. haven't had a chance to check. But there are some back-end servers for Minecraft, uh, that Mojang run for Minecraft that are keeping some modded servers and Forge stuff working. So the current versions of Coop Life 2 will not start up as long as these servers are broken. There's an updated version of Forge that is, I think, available that you could update to to get it working, but that's going to be complicated for servers and packs and everything else. So there's a distinct possibility that something else will happen tonight for the live stream at 8 p.m. We might have to just call off Coop Life 2 and deal with the fallout from that later because, I mean, it's probably not going to get fixed by this point in time in um, Norway because it's after office hours for them. I mean, Sweden. Uh, it's after off, after office hours for Mojang, so I don't know. Also, I, I just wanted to... My wife got me a weird thing. It's green screen colored, but still, it, it's an aluminum bottle. It's really weird. It's good, too. It's melon flavored. Anyway. Um, uh, so I don't know what's up for this evening. We're going to wing it. I could just de-stress and preemptively cancel. We could do Heroes of the Storm. I can talk to you after the stream about that, says Foxbot. Okay, so stay tuned. There might be an announcement on Twitter within the next 30 minutes to an hour. I might just preemptive strike it or whatever. Um, and uh, if we do something else, I'll probably do some more Heroes of the Storm tonight in replacement. Because I like Heroes of the Storm in the community. It's fun. We'll see. Uh, keep your eyes on my Twitter and probably on the Discord. And I will talk about it in both places. Otherwise, I'll see you folks later. Have a wonderful time. I need to see. Um, I do not think anybody is streaming right now. Oh, no, Dark Preacher is live. He's doing RimWorld. Awesome. Perfect timing. So what I'm actually going to do is send you wonderful people over there to say hello to him. And uh, Trunks says, ooh, hots. And Guts gets all shifty-eyed. Um, but yeah, thank you very much all, you wonderful people. Um, especially the big donators and the big gifters. I will see you later. Bye.
Thank you.